Okay, so to begin with, we're going to take away some parts of the skull, parietal, temporal, and frontal, to expose the brain. We're going to take some grey matter, some white matter, and the cerebellum. And I've already taken away everything else inside the brain except for the basal ganglia. Let's get rid of the rest of the brain on that side as well. And now you can see clearly the seven distinct parts of the basal ganglia. Let's have a look at this area here first. I'm going to bring up this image from Gray's Anatomy. Where you can see in the top part, curling around, that's the chordate nucleus. It encircles the lenticular nucleus, which is actually made up by two different parts. One, the putamen, most laterally. And if we get rid of that, we can see the globus pallidus. Together, those two make up the lenticular nucleus. To make things a little bit more confusing, the chordate nucleus and the lenticular nucleus together are known as the striatum, or the dorsal striatum to be more precise. Let's have a look at the other parts now. Next cab off the rank is the substantia nigra. They're embedded in the midbrain. So we can only see them here now because we've got rid of the midbrain already. Next to that, the subthalamic nuclei, which are true to the name, sit underneath the thalamus, which sits up here. We have the nucleus accumbens, which sits medial to the adhesion of the chordate and the putamen, and immediately lateral to the septum pellucidum, which runs directly down the midline of the brain. Last but not least, we have the olfactory tubicle up the front here, which projects to the olfactory bulb at the top of your nasal cavity. Okay, so now we've got a general idea of where everything sits. We'll have a little tour of how they all relate, and then we're going to bring in some sections so that we can apply this 3D anatomy to the images that we know so well. I always found them quite difficult to comprehend without this 3D basis. First of all, we're going to have a look at a transverse MRI, and we're going to position this next to our model. We'll get rid of these little bits, and this image has highlighted the striatum. It's not exactly the same as our model. I'm going to put that down to basic anatomical variation. But the three parts highlighted are the chordate, the putamen, and the globus pallidus. If we bring in a cut section of our model, we can see how the 3D picture on the left here relates to the cut section. We have the chordate, those two little bits, anterior and posterior. We have the lentiform nucleus, which is lens-shaped. That's its name. This purple bit in the center is the thalamus. The green bits represent the ventricles. But we'll cover them in a further video down the track. We'll get rid of our MRI now and we'll bring up a coronal section. So here's another image, the likes of which you may have seen before. It's a coronal section, an old one from Gray's Anatomy. Let's follow this line first. That's the lentiform nucleus. Those two guys in there. We've got them in 3D without being cut on the other side. The chordate, we can only see a little bit of it, superior and inferior. In actual fact, it's curving around the lenticular nucleus. The substantia nigra, right in the middle, embedded in the midbrain. And it's directly underneath the thalamus and right next to what they've called the nucleus of Lewis, which we now know as the subthalamic nucleus. Now 
and we can't see it on this coronal slice because it's too far posterior, but the olfactory tubercle we have up the front here. So the olfactory tubercle and the nucleus accumbens are together called the ventral striatum as opposed to the dorsal striatum, which is generally referred to as the striatum. So there's the nucleus accumbens. These guys together, they're known as the ventral striatum. These ones together, the dorsal striatum. Again, we can see the ventricles here, the corpus callosum in the midline, the third ventricle also in the midline, and the pons we can see inferior down there. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed that little 3D tour. Thanks for watching, hit subscribe, and we'll see you next time.